Uh, I'm Captain Chris Chowda Hill, call sign Chowda. I'm the commanding officer of CVN 69, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, the best damn ship in the Navy. It's the best damn ship in the Navy because we decided we were. It's a, it's a psychological experiment. The idea is if we say it, it will come true. It, it's not as easy as that. There's a lot of things that must happen. I talk about it in my command philosophy, the way of the warrior sailor. I need everyone to have high morale. We're getting there, right? And once that happens, other things will follow. Uh, greatness and uh, excellence will follow from that. Ownership, uh, mission success, success in combat. If And also, by doing COMP2X, the most advanced uh, exercise involving the entire strike group, if we could do that successfully, in that very moment here in a couple weeks, we will in fact be the best damn ship in the world. Best damn ship strike group in the Navy. That's what we're trying to achieve. So it's a mindset. So COMP2X is a certification exercise. It stands for Composite Unit Training Exercise. This is a, uh, a five to six week evolution at sea involving the entire strike group, multiple ships, the uh, air wing and the, and the aircraft carrier all working together and being tested every single day. For example, right now we're doing submarine uh, evasive maneuvers. Uh, with the assumption that there's a submarine out there that's trying to target us. So we take all the lessons learned we get with this, we get really good, good at it, and then we can certify for deployment. We'll deploy every couple of years, anywhere between seven to eight months. And if we don't, if we are not successful in COMP2X, we do not deploy. leadership experience and learned a lot of lessons and one thing I figured out over time that the most important thing to human beings is to be loved and valued it doesn't matter if you're in the military it doesn't matter if you're in business or doing whatever in the real world everyone needs that so it is an order on the ship everyone shall be loved and valued every day that is the first thing that motivates us the second thing I talk about in my booklet which is called the way of the warrior sailor is Every leader must provide every sailor mission and purpose every day. They need to know what the job is, they need to know why they're doing it, and at the end of the day, they need to be thanked for doing it. it sort of validates your day. It also makes you feel valued and loved. And then finally, if you can take it to the next level, you wanna create a winning environment. The best thing about leadership is you define the game and you define when you've won. So you're both the coach and the umpire at the same time. So that's the kind of environment we want to have here. And why is that important? It's because when you do those things, and there's other things that are important to uh, one's morale, those things build morale. Morale is that kind of internal drive that keeps you moving every day. It's not the same as happiness. Happiness is important too, but I need morale. I need people moving forward, being proud of what they do, and working hard because we have an important mission, which is to, to defend and deter. Uh, and to support uh, American interests abroad and to win wars ultimately. And that can take a lot out of a person. 
So that's kind of the, the philosophy. And I believe once we have morale high, everything else follows. There will be more ownership, the people will care more, uh, we'll be more successful in, in inspections, and most importantly, we will be more successful in combat, which is our ultimate mission.